Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here, and thanks for dropping by my little shack in the corner for a ham shack chat. This time we're going to be looking at announcements, particularly the announcements that Grid Tracker will make to you. Uh, so if you don't happen to have your eyes on the prize at the time, it can get your attention and tell you something's happening over there that you need to take a look at. Uh, we're going to look at a couple settings. I'll show you how to adjust things, and then we're going to spend a little extra time on the call roster. Uh, show you some of the features inside call roster that can be very useful to you. And with that, let's uh, go take a look at some of those settings. Now first, we're going to open up our settings, and let me just tell you that uh, these things are very useful uh, for having all of this running in the background, uh, but uh, you're busy somewhere else, uh, you're maybe making dinner or uh, teleworking, let's not uh, pass that around too much, uh, but uh, what you got is uh, we're going to start over here in the lookups. So you want to make sure uh, in order for uh, Grid Tracker to have the most information available uh, to provide when we get around to the call roster. Uh, you want to make sure that you have your lookups right. Uh, so these are my standard lookups up here and you can set those anywhere you want. The important ones are these two down here. Uh, I would re strongly recommend having the ULS uh, in which case you can see you got 84 well, 842,350 uh, entries that are going to actually be posted on there. Uh, now those are probably only going to be good for <laughs> UL, uh, ULS or US hams, but uh, Logbook of the World, uh, that's going to have a lot more. So between all of those, uh, you could also choose a QS, a EQSL, and matter of fact, let's go ahead and toss that in right now. And uh, I, I don't uh, use this uh, club log. Um, but uh, if I start to use it and make some changes, yeah, yeah you can expect a uh, you can expect something uh, coming up in another video in the future. Now, the next place we want to look at is our audio tab. So here's where you set all of your uh, audio functions, and uh, you got your text to voice, and uh, you've got three selections here. All of them there are United States English. Uh, you got David, Mark, and Zira. Uh, there's not a whole lot of difference between them. Uh, slightly different voices. It's uh, kind of like the difference between Alexa and Siri. <laughs> so uh, that that's uh, the audio settings. Now uh, we're going to pop over here to Call Roster. Now Call Roster is really interesting. Right now I have it set for new hit. And I'm going to leave that up while I come down here. And what you can do is right here under the wanted, uh, uh, you can go ahead and click whatever you want. So let's click call sign hit. grid and DXCC. New hit. And you new can hit. tell me I have a new hit. A new hit. new hit. It's not telling me which of those I have. So, uh, We'll go ahead and deselect that. I'm going to come back up here and show you this. You can have it say anything you want. So I'm going to have it say, hey, Tommy boy. And we'll come back down here to the uh, grid tracker and we'll just... Hey, Tommy boy. 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 So that means things are happening there. So uh, I'm going to deselect these. Hey, Tommy boy. And hey, show Tommy you boy. how to get more information. And we're going to deselect that one. Uh, and that's that's under the alerts tab. Now, under the alerts tab, you can have it announced in the same voice. Uh, whether it's a new call, a new grid, a new DXCC, and uh, let's see, uh, let me change this one. Instead of saying a new grid, 
look for new look for grid okay again you can set these values anything you anywhere you want now you enable them and we should start hearing something here soon new call look for grid new dxcc so that means in this last run there's a new call in there, which this blue and this blue are new calls. New call. New grids are the brown new ones. New, new DXCC DXCC. are the pink ones. New call. So for grid. now new this can be a little annoying, but I wanted to show you that, and I'm going to go ahead and call. turn those off. Look for grid. Just disable them. You can also search for new uh, CQ zones, ITU zones, U.S. states. Over here, you can set a minimum dB. So you can say anything lower than minus 12, I don't want to hear about because I know I can't work them. So like this uh, KS4OT at a minus 17, it would not announce that one. Uh, so uh, those, those are things. You can also set it to people uh, calling CQ only. So only the CQs will come through. Uh, let me turn that off. And I'm going to close this out. And now let's go take a look at our call roster. Roll call. From our main screen, uh, we're going to come over here under the control panel and we're going to select open call roster. Now, uh, I've, I've already silenced all of my alert announcements and I don't have my uh, call sign or my uh, call roster announcements going either uh, just because it's a lot of background noise when you're actually sitting here you don't need them now a couple of the cool things you can do first off you can sort so here I have it sorted by the strongest DB down to the lowest DB uh, uh, you can also get rid of a few things so again uh, you have the selection for minimum DB so anything on this list, and you can see it's a pretty extensive list, uh, is going to get trimmed down. Uh, on the individual announcements, you can uh, you can also say uh, CQ only. I only want the there's only the stations calling CQ, and I can show you that over here too. So I can uh, click that, and next time it cycles through, it'll get an update. But uh, again, my DBs are sorted high to low. Uh, let me shut this off and show you. See, now I'm getting everything. But uh, we'll go to the minimum DB. And uh, I'm going to set that for a uh, 15. Because realistically, a 15 is still doable for me. Uh, you can select has grid. So now that's really if you're not doing a CQ only, so we take that out and you're going to have all the things. It's, it is only going to show the ones down here that are listing their grids. So all of these have grids. And, uh, but you know how it is when you're, you're working and somebody replies to your CQ with a signal report. Doesn't tell you where they are. Uh, so that, that'll filter those guys out. But we'll go back to CQ only. And uh, another thing to notice here, now as it stands, all of these, well, okay, good. We, we got one here. I, he, here's an Australia. He's a minus four. And he's in Oceania, the continent. Uh, but over here on the U.S., not only does it tell me it's Florida, but it tells me it's Miami-Dade County. Uh, Texas, Denton County. Uh, but what about these with the question marks in them? Got, got these all here. Uh, what's happening there is your lookup that uh, we talked about uh, before, where you're uh, looking up the ULS and stuff like that. Uh, part of that information is the zip code. So it's taking the zip code and... Uh, that particular zip code actually goes across several counties. 
So it's making a best guess that it's Lake County, but there's not a guarantee on that. Uh, same thing here in Texas. But that's coal roster. Uh, get in there, play with it a little bit. Uh, you, you can also filter by age. So this one is the oldest ones that have been running and down to the guy who's just, just popped up there. Uh, you can filter by DB. Uh, if you've got a directional antenna and you don't want to move it too much, you can filter it by azimuth. So this is the direction that you would point your uh, antenna at. So say you were uh, pointing out there, pointing at 180. Uh, well, now you know that without having to move your antenna, you can probably work this guy, this guy, this guy, and maybe that guy. But uh, there's, there's all kinds of ways that you can filter this. Here's a neat trick. You can control WSJT from here. So say I wanted to work this uh, uh, W1 WWA. There I am. But I, I could work him, and that's, that's really fun. So with that, let's uh, tie a, put a bow on it. And that's it. I hope you'll find uh, the information that I presented useful and uh, at least maybe a little bit entertaining. I, I'm, I'm not a stand-up comedian, but I am sitting down right now. Thanks for dropping by my little shack in the corner. Please take a moment and give me a like. The pop that thumbs up button. Please like me. Please. And uh, also, please share this uh, content. Sharing is fun. Uh, with your friends who are maybe just getting into Grid Tracker, but share it, uh, especially on social media accounts like uh, uh, Facebook, Ham Radio groups. Uh, if you've got a, a local club uh, with a Facebook page, or an Instagram page, or Twitter feed, or an email list, whatever, go ahead and uh, share, share that there. I'd love to see your comments down in the uh, section below. What's down below? And uh, hope to uh, be able to answer as many of your comments as I can. Questions? Comments? Uh, I would love to hear how your experiences with uh, using these announcements uh, or just any grid tracker stuff in general. Uh, if you've noticed, I've been putting out a lot of grid tracker stuff and basically I started using it a couple months ago and then uh, kind of played with it and found some neat little things and as I find neat little things, I'm putting out a video. Uh, finally, and most least important, really, please consider subscribing. I subscribe to Team Beat. Uh, this allows you to see where uh, all my uh, content is, in one convenient place, and also allows you uh, to get notified, but only if you ring the bell. With that said, I'm Tom, ND3N, always at your service, 73. I'm out.